What's up, YouTube? I've got a cool uh, 3D printing project here today. So, uh, recently, uh, I've been messing around with my Creality CR10 a lot, and uh, I've been making a lot of cool, uh, kind of rusted old design stuff like this. Uh, I made, and a lot of these, like, futuristic designs, too. I was working on this cool uh, hover tank that I designed. And just a lot of stuff like that. I made this uh, rusty old UFO, which I haven't really finished, but it's come along pretty well. And, uh, I, you know, I made a lot of little pieces like these little uh, rusty barrels and stuff like that. I was kind of working on making kind of a futuristic, post-apocalyptic uh, like gas station or something like that, or service station. So I made a, this whole big piece here that eventually is going to be the, the main part of that. Um, and then I made this cool little uh, service sign, all rusty, kind of like, you know, maybe inspired by some of the Fallout games or something like that. So I'm doing a lot of stuff like that. Um, and I've also been making a lot of, like, uh, Soviet vehicles, too. I made these cool little uh, hover vehicles with a Soviet red star on the back. I just think that's kind of cool and futuristic and maybe an alternate universe or whatever. Um, and then I changed filaments recently uh, from my normal hatchback black to uh, this Tianse filament that I bought. And I was having some uh, some adhesion problems, so I kind of uh, I drew up a quick test print in Fusion 360. I made this little uh, little rocket here, and um, you know it's just a quick test print. But uh, you know now that I have it, um, I might as well paint it to look nice and cool. So I'm going to make it a little Soviet rocket. So I'm going to paint it, you know white and red, and I also printed off these little, uh, these little masks, uh, that say CCCP on them, um, to paint that on the side of the rocket, so I'm gonna try that, I think that'll give a cool effect, and I think I'll also make it look kinda old and rusty like some of these other designs, so, let's start painting, uh, well actually before we do that, I've already, um, I've already covered it in filler primer and sanded it, so it's pretty smooth, um, not as smooth as it could be, but, you know, it's just a little test. I'm um, just going to have a little fun with it, so let's go paint this bad boy. Okay, so what I did first was do some pre-shading on the rocket, just to give a little bit of a depth there. And then uh, once I was done with that, I covered it in white. And basically the process here is I did the, the first paint job there, I covered it in white, and then sprayed on uh, the CCCP that I made with the mask, and I painted the nose and fins red. And basically what I did, um, my, my basic process was painting on that paint job, and then I put some uh, a little bit of epoxy putty on there to give a little bit of texture, so that's what I'm doing now. Uh, and that just adds a little bit of roughness to the parts I'm going to make look rusty. And once I did that, I started, I just painted over with some paint. I painted over some yellow there, and some, a couple of different browns and a few other colors. Just to, just to give it a little bit of depth, uh, a couple of different tones in there. And then I used some uh, chalk pastels afterwards, once it dried, to go over that. So basically I just added a couple of, uh, I just put on some light, uh, I guess pastel powder on there. That's what I'm doing right now. And then once I was done with that, uh, I, uh, basically some browns, uh, I just put on... Uh, I just covered it, I just took some uh, yellow pastel chalk and covered the whole thing in yellow and then I sprayed the whole thing with a matte finish just to kind of tie everything together, uh, soften some of those colors and uh, yeah, that was the rocket pretty much. And I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah, so there's the final product. It looks kind of old and weathered. I think it looks kind of cool. Kind of rusty and, uh, you know, post-apocalyptic looking. I think it looks pretty good. But, uh, all right, guys, so there you have it. There's my cool little uh, rusty Soviet rocket. And, you know, I know I probably could have filmed a lot of this uh, a little bit better. But, uh, hey, it's my first video, so cut me some slack. That'll get better. Um, but either way, if you enjoyed this video, definitely like and subscribe below. And I'll also post a link to my Instagram if you guys like seeing cool models like these but don't like the sound of my voice. Anyways, until next time, thanks for watching. All right, and finally... Let's put him with the rest of his rusty old friends. Ta-da! Not too bad!